Prime Minister Elijah Yodele, the leader of INRI, Evangelical Spiritual Church, recently made a statement on his official TikTok account stating that none of the presidential candidates in Nigeria are capable of effectively ruling the country. He went on to mention that he had previously prophesied that President Muhammadu Bari's second term in office would be worse than his first time and and that is currently being witnessed by the people of nigeria in the viral video primates ayodele explained that he had prophesied about the negative events that would occur during president buari's second term he also made the prediction that nothing would happen to tinumbu's inauguration ceremony on may 29 additionally he stated that peter Obi would be disappointed by atiku abubakar and if PSLB doesn't win his case in court, there will be crisis in the country, according to Prime Minister Ayodele in the video. He said, I prophesied about the bad things that will happen in President Muhammadu Buhari's second term. In fact, none of the presidential candidates are capable of ruling Nigeria, and I already told you that nothing will happen to Tinubu's inauguration ceremony on May 29. PSLB will be disappointed by Atiku Abubakar, and if Peter Obi doesn't win his case, there will be crisis in the country. If Obi doesn't win, there will be a crisis. If Tinubu is sworn in, there is going to be a big problem. I don't understand the one where this man deal. Overall, Prime Minister Yodele, uh recent statements on his TikTok account has caused a quiet stare in Nigeria. His predictions about the current state of the country and the upcoming election have left many people wonder, wondering what the future holds. Why his statements may be controversial, they are certainly thought-provoking and have sparked a great sided decision and debate. Now so, mm. now so, this man has been talking, 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 talking. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Who or what is your God? President Sinubu refused to pay or compensate with all your stomach infrastructure prophecy. Just tell me why this prophet no fits pray for Nigeria as CEO rather giving prophecy with the best person with the best person he even add fuel to the just uh, uh, fire one thing is that why is it that uh, that means there's nothing good that will happen in this nigeria because this man is always seeing evil 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 he's always seeing negative things i don't understand eh? can you imagine can you imagine hmm. you know. can you imagine Prophet of doom, you will be among those the crisis will wipe away. Okay? You are just adding more problems to Obi's case with your fake prophecy. This man called Ade Ayodele is, is sent by God of following events to predict or forecast what may likely happen. And who is going to even call him to order? All these things that he's doing, the government, they are not seeing it too. Until all these things will cause Kassala. Just like somebody said that he just... Um, adding to Obi's problem, Obi's case with say uh, his fake prophecy. By the grace of God, that crisis you pray for will happen in your church and in your family. Please, this political and fake prophet should be arrested immediately. Nothing will happen with full ground bracket. Uh, we stand on Ashiwaju's mandate. Obi is nothing but a toothless dog. He is someone that Ashiwaju can take care of. Obi is a boy. We use him. And we have succeeded in using him, him, sir. Please, I don't even understand your prophecy again. Or does it mean your assistance used to come and write because of who is supported before? You said Peter B can't do anything. That nothing will happen. Now you are telling us uh, another story again. Crisis don't say, crisis don't date it. No be today, crisis day, Nigeria. Nobody go die. Prophet predict waiting sweet Nigeria. Na negative prediction. Na you they see. Predict what is going to move the country forward. Is it to even predict? I don't understand. Because as as the whole thing is going, it seems as there's no 
No, no, no hope for Nigeria. No hope. He said, oh, because he said he predicted uh, Buhari's uh, second term is going to be worse than the first one. So, are you taking glory? Are you taking glory for that? There will be no crisis anyway. I doubt if these pastors even have time to pray to God for directions. They want followers at all costs and they speak from the available information around them. It is becoming a gamble to them now that God says if at the end of the day one of their so-called prophets came through, who, uh, some people will be thinking they are God, they are God's sense. There's no doubt the end is near. You this man again. You are bent on destroying those that cannot read between the lines. God will have mercy on you. You are seeing and hearing nothing. Nothing and nothing and nothing at all.